Welcome! In this video, we'll be going over the Locator and Velon tools. Locator allows you to generate links and share the current position of a unit without creating a new user. It would be useful when your client needs to control a delivery, for example. To find Locator, click on the user's name in the top right corner and select the appropriate option. We can roughly divide the whole process of working with the Locator into two parts, creating links and watching them. Let's start with link creation. First, we need to specify the activation time. We can arrange it for a current or future moment. Open the calendar and point out the time and the day. But remember that the activation time cannot exceed 100 days. Then arrange the lifespan of the link, 12 hours for example. When the time expires, the link will stop working. If you put zero here, the lifespan will be unlimited. Choose the unit or the unit group which the location you would like to share. To make the process of searching the unit more convenient, use the drop-down menu where you can find the appropriate filter. With the help of an arrow or a double-click, move the selected units to the right column. A little bit above, you can leave a custom node, for example, Bricks Delivery. This tag plays a role in the name of the link, as this node will help you to find the link faster in the list. If you activate the Geofences option, the units and also the Geofences will be displayed on the map. You can display tracks on the map the same way, but the route will only be shown since that time when the locator was created. The historical data won't be shown. Activate the sensors mask option and specify the names or parts of the names of the sensors for which you would like to show the appropriate data. If you would like to display the data of the entire sensors list, put an asterisk here. Save the changes. You can find the created link on the list. Click on its lifespan to open the information in a new tab. Here, depending on your browser's settings, you will see the unit's location, geofences and tracks on the map, and the sensor's data which were specified in the settings of the link. You can copy the link to share the location of the chosen elements with others. It's worth mentioning that Locator is also optimized for smartphones. Notes, time and lifespan of the link is displayed over here. A little bit to the right you can find the amount of the units which are controlled. If you hover over this icon, you can see the list of elements. Nearby you can see if the geofences and tracks are shown on the map. Click on the tool icon to open the link's properties and make any changes. Also, you can copy or delete the link. Tools are intended for solving different issues like measuring the distance between two dots on the map, calculating the square of a selected area, making routes, detecting addresses and location of a unit according to LBS and more. Click on the three vertical dots icon and activate tools. The appropriate icon will be displayed on the top panel of the interface. The first tool in the list is Track Player. It is helpful when different parts of the track overlap and you are not sure on which side the unit is moving in a particular moment, for example. Look through the other video to learn more about working with tracks themselves. In that video, we also talked a little about Track Player. With its help, it is possible to play an already built track with its real or accelerated speed. You can switch between dots of the track by clicking on the timeline, map or using special icons – initial position, previous point, next point and final position. You can find the exact address, time and date of visiting the selected point and the speed of a unit at that moment a little above. In the drop-down menu, you can choose which track you would like to play. The most recently created track will be selected by default. In case you would like the unit to be fixed in the middle of the map during the entire trip, then activate the following option – Move map while playing. To see the images which the unit can send during the trip, switch the appropriate option. Below, you can find the parameters and sensors data which the tracker sent at the specific point. To play several tracks at the same time, please use the track player web application. 
To measure the distance between two points, please use the instrument which is called distance. It is useful when the range of coordinates is measured. Coordinate error, in other words, is expected. So you can set this on the trip detection tab. Also, you can use this tool to make sure the mileage was calculated correctly. By double-clicking on the map, you can place the dots between your initial and final position. Pay attention if the section is a straight line and not connected with the roads. To account for turns, you can add some extra points. Also, you can change the length of the section simply by pulling one of the points. Look through the info window of the tool to find the result of the calculation. The sum of all segments which are are on the map is the first item, and the second item is the distance between the last point and the cursor. The sum of the two items is calculated automatically. To clear the map and reset the calculation, use the Reset button. This particular instrument is used to measure the area or the perimeter of a zone on the map. It could be a quarry, for example. Just like the distance tool, double-click on the map to place the points, the lines which connect these points will become the borders of the measured territory. Similar to creating a polygon geofence, you should remember that crossing already created borders will lead to an incorrect calculation. But you can still change the shape and the size of the area by adding new points and moving them on the map. The result will be shown in the info window. To work with the next tool, first you need to select an address source, the map in other words. Then you can enter the address by clicking on the appropriate place on the map, or vice versa, you can find the place on the map by inserting the address or the coordinates. While typing the address, you'll be offered a list of several variants according to the inserted data. The selected position can be saved as a circle geofence with the established radius, and the address will be the center of this GFNs. The routing tool allows you to plan the shortest routes from one place to another while visiting several spots in between. Select the address source. You can place the route points in two ways. The first way is searching points from the address panel. Insert the appropriate address here. To add more points, use the same line. Pay attention that initially there is a straight line between the points, but it could change while saving the result. The second way is by double-clicking on the map and the points panel will open automatically. If you activate the Optimize Points Order option on the Root Parameters panel, the optimized order of visiting the chosen points will be established, including the distance between them. If a particular point is the last to visit, move it to the end of the list and activate the Stick Last Point option. The first point is fixed automatically. You can choose the color of the route if you wish. To calculate the point's order, the length and the duration of the route, press the appropriate button. The create route can be saved as a line geofence. Choose the resource where the geofence is supposed to be located, type its name and add it to the group if needed. The geofence will look like a polyline passing through the points if you activate the Save Key Points Only option. With the help of the Save as a Root panel, you can save the result of the calculation on the same tab in order to add the schedule and create rounds. Tracks are built according to the points that are coordinates from the messages sent by the unit to the system. The Track Hit Test tool is used to quickly acquire information about one or more points. Choose the appropriate track to analyze in the drop-down menu. Then select the mode, single point or multi-point. If you move the cursor on the track, you can see that the closest point starts to pulse. But if you move the cursor to the particular point, you will see the menu with the information about this point. Quickly move to the closest point by double-clicking on the track. Using the single point mode, in the result window you will see the information about the speed of the unit, the amount of satellites, the coordinates of this point and the sensor's data at this moment. If you switch to the multipoint mode, the same information will be displayed but also includes several points. 
You can learn which unit is the closest to the selected point with the help of the nearest units tool. Select the location by double-clicking on the map or typing the address to the search address field. Then establish the maximum number of units that are supposed to be shown. In case you are interested in the distance between the selected position and the unit and also counting the real route, please activate the Consider Routing option. You can choose the routing provider if such option is available in your account. With the help of the GFNs filter, you can display only those units which are located within the selected GFNs. The last filter helps to count the relevance of the data and not to display offline units. For example, if you are not interested in units which have not been sent in data for the last 6 hours, type this value in the appropriate field you would achieve a list of units in the result. Click on the name of the unit and the map will move to this unit. Also, here you can find the driver's phone number if it's been indicated. Further, you can see the distance between the point and the unit and also the time that is supposed to be spent to reach the unit, but only if you switched on the Consider Routing option. In case the usage of Sensor Colors option was set on the Advanced tab of the unit properties, you would see them in this field. In the end of the line, you can find the icon which is for the command sending. With the help of the LBS detector, you can find the approximate lost location of the unit according to the cell tower signal. It is useful when comparing coordinates by GPS in areas with bad satellite capture in order to allow positioning by cellular base stations on the advanced tab. Back to the tool. Select the unit in the drop-down menu. Remember that the tracker should allow the sending of LBS parameters in messages, otherwise the unit will not be displayed in the list. Also, it is important to have the access rights to query reports of messages for the unit and this unit must be added to the list on the monitoring tab. If all of these terms are followed, in the result field you will see the location of the unit according to the cell towers. If the SMS service in your account is switched on and the appropriate option in User Properties is activated, with the help of this tool you can send SMS messages to drivers, units or phone numbers. Select the recipient from the list. To make the search easier, you can use the filtration according to the type of the unit on the drop-down menu. To send a message to a phone number, type it in the right column. Below you can find the field where you can insert the text of the message. Press the send button to deliver the message. Thank you for watching. To understand the platform better, please watch the other videos on our channel. Good luck!